Welcome back to the Mysterious series, where we delve into the most perplexing and eerie tales from around the globe. This week, we journey to Centralia, Pennsylvania, a once thriving town that now lies in ruin, haunted by an underground inferno that has raged for decades. What caused this fire? Why has it never been extinguished? And what stories lie buried beneath the smoldering ruins? Join us as we unravel the chilling tale of the ghost town of Centralia. Centralia was a bustling mining town in the early 20th century. Founded in 1866, it grew rapidly due to the rich anthracite coal deposits found in the region. By the mid-1900s, Centralia boasted a population of over 1,000 residents with numerous homes, businesses, and churches. Coal mining was the lifeblood of this community, providing jobs and prosperity to its inhabitants. The beginning of Centralia's end came in May 1962. The local landfill, located in an old strip mine, needed to be cleaned up for Memorial Day. The town council authorized the volunteer fire department to set the dump on fire, a common practice at the time to reduce waste volume. However, this time, the fire wasn't properly extinguished. It found its way into an abandoned coal mine beneath the town, igniting a coal seam. This seemingly small oversight would have catastrophic consequences. Initially, the fire went unnoticed, burning quietly underground. But within a few weeks, residents began to notice smoke and steam seeping from the ground. Attempts to extinguish the fire were made, but the complex network of abandoned mines and coal seams made it nearly impossible to control. The fire continued to spread, feeding on the vast coal deposits that had once brought prosperity to Centralia. As the fire grew, so did its impact on the town. Toxic gases, including carbon monoxide, began to infiltrate homes and businesses, posing a severe health risk to the residents. The ground itself became unstable, with sinkholes opening up without warning. In 1981, a 12-year-old boy named Todd Domboski fell into a sudden sinkhole in his grandmother's backyard. He was rescued, but the incident highlighted the ever-present danger lurking beneath Centralia. The situation became untenable, and in 1983, the U.S. government stepped in. A relocation program was initiated, offering residents buyouts to leave their homes. Most accepted the offer, and by the early 1990s, Centralia was largely abandoned. Buildings were demolished, and streets were closed off. Today, only a handful of residents remain, clinging to their homes despite the ongoing fire beneath them. Centralia's fire is still burning to this day. Scientists estimate it could continue for another 250 years or more, given the vast amounts of coal still underground. The fire has consumed over 400 acres and continues to spread, a relentless force that has transformed Centralia into a modern-day ghost town. But Centralia isn't just a story of destruction. It's also a place steeped in mystery and intrigue. The abandoned streets and crumbling buildings have become a magnet for urban explorers and ghost hunters. Many report strange phenomena, including ghostly apparitions and unexplained sounds. Some believe that the spirits of those who once lived here are still present, unwilling to leave their homes despite the danger. The story of Centralia has also inspired popular culture. It's believed to be the inspiration for the fictional town of Silent Hill, featured in a series of video games and movies. The eerie, fog-filled landscapes of Silent Hill echo the smoke and steam that still rise from Centralia's scorched earth. The tragedy of Centralia serves as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the unforeseen consequences of human actions. What started as a simple attempt to clean up a landfill has led to the near-total abandonment of an entire town. It also raises questions about the long-term environmental impact of coal mining and the importance of responsible management of natural resources. Despite its desolation, Centralia remains a poignant symbol of resilience. The few remaining residents, often called holdouts, have fought legal battles to stay in their homes, arguing that the danger is overstated their determination to remain in the town they love speaks to the human spirit's tenacity and attachment to place. As we wrap up our exploration of Centralia, Pennsylvania, we're left with a haunting image of a town consumed by fire 
yet enduring in memory and myth. What do you think about Centralia's fate? Is it a cautionary tale, a ghost story, or both? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more episodes of the Mysterious series. See you next week as we continue to uncover the world's most enigmatic stories. Perhaps the answers lie not in grand solutions, but in the haunting echoes of the unknown. For the truth, curiosity never rests. As elusive as it may be is the very lifeblood of the mystery. Until next time, remember the shadows whisper. Wind carries forgotten tales. The veil between the known and the unknown is always tantalizingly thin. Stay curious, stay skeptical, most importantly, never stop questioning. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment below.